name is Edith. Welcome to HTL 101. Today, I'm going to sit here and introduce about Japanese whiskey. For today's video, here is the structure of today's video. First, I'm going to talk about uh, the method that how to produce these products. And next, I will talk about the famous brand of this product. Thirdly, I will talk about the various use and the serve sale of Japanese whiskey. Lastly, I will talk about how I can use the knowledge about Japanese whiskey during the industry placement time. Let's move on. Welcome to the first part of this video. First, I'm going to talk about some background about Japanese whiskey. Who produced this product and how they produce this product and what inspired them to produce this product. The Japanese whiskey basically is made by the Takasuru and the Tori. Tori is the one of at that time is one of the Japanese biggest alcohol produced brand producer. And the Takasuri with his wife go to Scotland to learn about how to make whiskey and then this couple went back to Japan and looking for someone to cooperate with to make their own whiskey. So they find Tori and they cooperate together to make this Japanese whiskey. So the Japanese whiskey production in Japan began around 1870, but the first commotion production is in 1924. So the broadly the speaking of the style of the Japanese whiskey is more similar to the Scotch whiskey in or, instead of the other whiskey in the other region because the product producer is learning the whiskey ma making method in Scotland. So the, basically the Japanese whiskey is a combined style of Japan, Japanese making style and the Scotch making style. Hi, welcome to the second part of my video. Now I'm going to talk about the famous brand of Japanese whiskey. The first one is the Chantonie Whiskey Taki, which cost around $52. Here is the picture. And the second one is the Nika Coffee Malt, which cost $55. And the third one is the Hakushu 18. Next one is the Okishu Single Sherry Cask. And the next one is the Yamazaki Tan. 12. And the next one is Rochi Single Malt. Then is Happy Key 17. And next is Nika Whiskey from the Barrel. And next is the Chichibu Port Piper. And next is the Iwa Tradition. And next is the Akashi Single Malt. Here is, some, here is some famous brand of the Japanese whiskey. As you can see in this map, there is some famous Japanese whiskey produced region, which is Yochi and Hakushu, Karizawa, Mayakio, and the Chichibu, and Fuji, Katamba, and the Yamazaki. As I mentioned above in the background of Japanese whiskey, Japanese whiskey is basically based on the scotch whiskey and do some abundance innovation so the process of making japanese whiskey is similar to making the scotch whiskey they are all both heavily relied on the malt barley the malt barley is most import from scotland and and then after they receive the scotland they will mash and uh, distill it twice in the post and this process is it depends on the dis distiller to incorporate and or cut it skillfully or not and if it's cut and uh, incorporate skillfully they will make more residual congeners if there are, so this also a standard to um it's a standard to identify if there are more the more residual congeners there will be a higher levels of japanese whiskey and next like scotch japanese whiskey is wooden is wood aged so it will put the liquid into different ox to make different flavor some is in american ox and some is in sherry ox and some is in japanese mazonara ox this different ox makes different flavor this different ox makes different flavors which like orange butter smoky and extra Now I'm going to talk about the different usage of Japanese whiskey. The first one, Japanese whiskey is good for your skin. So you can put Japanese whiskey, if it's a good Japanese whiskey, you can put on your skin as a mask to gain the beauty benefits. It can lock the water in your skin and uh, you can also use it combined with the honey, egg, water, lemon or milk to make a face mask. The thirdly, whiskey can also reduce the apathy and prevent overeating. Some people maybe after work or during the work and study, they will feel very stressful and then they will gain overeating this habit, but it's harmful to people's body, so they can drink some whiskey to reduce their apathy in order to uh, boost the stomach to digest the food and make sure you get, you have a health diet because the Japanese whiskey, they contain the most that can that can boost the digest of your body and also their fruity and smoothie flavor can make you feel not hungry as you under the pressure. 
The first one is the blend whiskey. Even the blend whiskey is being incorrectly think is cheap and inferior, but in Japanese people's mind, they believe the blend blend whiskey make the perfect balance of two liquid, and it also have good quality, and it can make very smoothy whiskey. The second one is Japanese people like to serve the whiskey with highball glass. This might be sharply different between the whiskey purists people. They prefer to use to drink whiskey with the old school class, but in Japan, they will serve whiskey with soda water in a highball glass. So, in Japan, Japanese people they believe the soda water give the whiskey a very palatable flavor. Japanese whiskey information can be widely used for as a bartender, as a front front house waiters, as a back of house staffs. So, for the as a bartender, the Japanese whiskey information can be used like if a customer order a Japanese whiskey, they will ask you what kind of Japanese whiskey they have and where it produced and how it produced and can you recommend me some Japanese whiskey? For the recommendation, you have to upselling, you have to selling from the most expensive one to the less expensive one and also you have to recognize the customer's region and maybe this customer is from Japan so Japan in different region they have different whiskey so you can recommend the whiskey from the customer's regions also for the front house waiters they sometimes they have to serve the whiskey to the customer for some banquets and when they serving the customer also will ask them about this question and you might give a little bit presentation about this information for the back of house staff they might use the Japanese whiskey to make some cuisines. For some innovative restaurants, they might use the Japanese Japanese whiskey to make some evidence cuisine for the different flavor, give the innovative flavor for the customers.